welcome back to 843 TV. Um, actually, I feel like we should be calling this 843 TV All-Stars today oh, with this yeah, panel definitely. of people that we have <laughs> joining us. Uh, joining us now, in case he needs even an introduction, is Mike Covert, the owner of Covert Air. Mike, in case there's one person out there who doesn't know who you are and what you do, tell us a little bit about you and your company. Well, it's great to be here. And um, I own a heating and air conditioning company. Uh, we service all of Hilton Head and Beaufort County and Jasper Counties and beyond. I've uh, been here about 22 years now this year and uh, here in Beaufort County. So uh, I like to think I'm as close to local as we can be. And, uh, and I'm fortunate enough to also uh, serve as a county councilman now here in Beaufort County. Wow. Well, I think, I'm not sure, but I think we've been doing high school football about 10 years on WHHI, which is a great service for the community. How long has Covert Air been a uh, sponsor? This is, uh, uh, go, we're, we're going into our fifth year, uh, consecutive year of being the title sponsor for uh, what we call the Covert Air High School Football Series. Um, and it has been, you know, when I talked to this, this, the owners back, uh, you know, five years ago plus, um, talking about advertising and how we could do some things that were not of the norm uh, which if anybody's ever followed my advertising, it's never normal. <laughs> um, this, uh, this was a great fit. So uh, we, 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 we made it work and it's worked great for five years. And I, I was saying earlier, I, I try to follow the people that know what they're doing and, and you do. So <laughs> this is something that I know James Wedgworth Properties would, would probably get into yeah. as well. So. Yeah, I, um, I love some of the things that you do with Covered Air. Such a great sponsor of the community. I love the Random Acts of Kindness campaign mm -hmm. that yeah. you have going right now. But why is it so important for Covert Air to sponsor this series? Well, you know, the, the reason that uh, any business obviously does advertising is to show a return on the investment. And uh, we found that television uh, does a, is, a, is a good return for us in our business model. WHHI and its, uh, its, its, its productions uh, even enhance that. Um, you know, as there are others out there that are, you know, cable and national and whatever that, that are fine too. But for here locally, WHHHI, WHHI and, and its productions fit our clients and what we're looking for. Aside from that, this is an excellent way to give back to families that maybe aren't here that want to see their child or their grandchild or military or whatever, um, or that just want to watch it again. If they couldn't see everything Friday night, they can go back and watch it three or four times during the week. And it's, uh, it's, it's a really good community tie for my company. I agree. I'm one of those ones who watch it a couple of times yeah. because I love the plays and, and the, plus the players themselves can go back and watch mm -hmm. them themselves. and. Yeah and just, they can be shared online and everything. So let's talk about the season coming up. This is right. some good stuff. Let's talk about the teams, the schedule that WHHI will be broadcasting from. What can we expect? Well, the, uh, I'm sure the uh, viewers right now, you can probably see the schedule on the screen. Uh, WHHI Sports has done a great job of, of making this year's schedule, the parody, um, superb. Uh, we're seeing from teams you know, all across uh, Hilton Head, Bluffton, Beaufort, and even Jasper County. I think this is the first time in, in my five years that we're starting the season off with two um, prep schedules, uh, and then we'll go through the public schools. Um, what, do, you know, what do I see coming down the pike when I've talked to some folks? You know, I look for uh, Hilton Head. They're big, they're strong, they're fast. Bluffton. Uh, the new coach has inherited big, strong, and fast. Um, uh, I think May River is still in a learning stage, but they are, they are growing, and they're growing fast. The rest of the schools all are fantastic programs, fantastic coaches. Uh, you know, I love John Paul II's program that is still in its infancy, and the excitement out there is just, just bursting. Yeah, so, it is, uh, really. You know, the and other, other side of the uh, Broad River, uh, Beaufort High School, all, the Eagles always are, are something to, uh, uh, to, to, to be reckoned with, along with Whale Branch and, and Battery Creek and, and everybody else that we cover. And the, some of these programs have some first year or new coaches coming in as head coaching, so it'll be exciting to see that. And yeah. also the pregame interviews you do with the coaches, it gives them a chance to share and, and, mm -hmm. and get out there. 
Now, the broadcasts themselves are great. They're very professional. There's a lot of fun stuff. You've got a <laughs> halftime show. Yeah. You've got reruns. You've got all kind of stuff. Speaking of that, there's some great memories that yeah. I'm sure you've made and some great highlights out there, including the bloopers. Tell us about some of those, some of your favorites. Well, you know, some of the, uh, some of the favorite things that I've seen happen over the five years. We were at, uh, it was a Halloween game on Halloween at uh, Hilton Head Christian Academy. And um, I think Bob Stevens and I were doing the pregame uh, B-roll and behind us, uh, one of the, the cameramen had a obviously fake uh, horse head. <laughs> And, and he's going by, and, if, and I'm sure they're going to roll this. Uh -huh. uh, you can you can see him going by, and uh, it was it was <laughs> bothersome then. And, and I've been in broadcasting before, and, and when you're bothered, you you just lose all train of thought. And fortunately, Bob and I were able to hold it together, uh, so that was really cool. The other thing that that was really interesting, uh, in, we were at Buford High School a couple of years ago, and there you know you get points in broadcasting where you can feel a lull coming and the interest starts to fade. And uh, I was on the sideline working the microphone and, and I decided to uh, inter lay down on the ground and interview a stormwater grate. Now wow. that sounds really <clears throat> weird, but it was so funny. It was absolutely <laughs> hilarious. We're all gonna be looking that up by the way. And uh, <laughs> unfortunately, the, I think the sound didn't make it or what have you, but it was absolutely incredible. That's some fun stuff. Mike, always good to see you and hear thank all you. about what you're doing for the community and thank for the football. So thank you all for watching today's episode of 843 TV. Where communities come to speak.